Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. And today we are bringing back the portfolio reviews. Now, this portfolio here is actually by a designer, but there's a lot of elements in here that we can use for our web developer portfolios. Again, I want to show you guys this portfolio because I think it's a 10 and it has everything that you need to really shine. So let's get into it. All right, so here you go, guys. It's actually johnhowell.com and it's a very simple landing page, but still creative and still catches your attention. He has a 3D uh, version of himself in here. And again, I like the hoodie, <laughs> I like the lighting, it's pretty cool. And later on, I'm gonna show you guys uh, some of the ways that you can actually build something like this. But for now, let's go in and take a look at what we have here, right? So we have the portfolio, right? So he puts in 2025, so you know that is uh, some of his latest work. And here he has uh, brand experience for design. What I like about this is that he has all all of his projects here um, straight in front of you uh, so you could go in and see exactly what he built and, and what he did now we can actually do the same thing with our portfolio projects as developers it doesn't matter if you are a designer or a developer you can use the same uh, strategy which is hey i catch you with the landing page something that is going to make you say hmm let me check out what else this person has and then from there show them some really good thumbnails of your projects a lot of times people go in and just take a screenshot of the projects that they have like you know just the whole page you could actually go in and take thumbnails, meaning that you take the best part or the most appealing part of the project, and then you go in and use that as a thumbnail for people to click on. So again, he has all of his projects in here. Then from there, he has all of his skills work, things that he could do. So brand experience, product design, brand design, creative direction, motion design, prototyping, icon design. So these are the skills that he has. Another thing too that he has in here is some of the things that he's been featured on so think of this like awards or you know recognition that he has gotten so he gotten uh, recognized by framer side inspire a1 gallery logo lounge 15 okay and then from here he has like an about section for uh, his website and he has his contact and just like his location of like where he located at right laguna beach california okay and his social media accounts in here okay so pretty cool now let's go in and check out some of his projects to see how he has this set up okay. nice animation nice and clean all right and then from there he has the actual project that he worked on he has some more information about the project now this is something that we can also do especially if you are someone who's doing like email development or you're doing like full stack and you're actually creating some type of application maybe the person doesn't have the time to go through all of the things within the application you could create a case study of it for example if you're building a software as a service for let's say using ai to generate uh, maybe an essay, right? You can go in, show some screenshots or even maybe a video of the different pages on the project. You could also break down some information about what you actually did, what technologies you used. So this is something that you guys can definitely take for inspiration in that flow of how you have your top section on your page, right? Your welcome section on your website. And then from there, you have your projects and within the projects, you have like a case study. OK, now, of course, you got to make it look good. Please don't use some really crappy images or like really low resolution images. If you're going to make it really big like this or if you're using a video, like make sure it's like nice and um, either have good editing or just make it just look good. Always remember, this is your presentation. When people go to this website, you want to make sure that it, it basically screams out premium. All right. So this is something that you want to keep in mind. Now, let's go over, you know, this right here of how he actually got this done so i wouldn't be surprised he actually created this with like blender maya right so those are some of the 3d software but there's also some really good ones that you guys can use and i'm going to show you guys right now uh, on this video so let me show you guys the flow of this 
to create something similar to what this guy has on his portfolio. And it's very simple. What you would do is you would go to mid journey. You basically pass in a couple of your images and give it a prompt, right? So let's say 3D character, avatar, blender, render style, pop mar, uh, guide coding on the laptop. Make sure the background color is whatever color you guys want your hero to be so it can match. And then from there, you will have like a palette pop art you know, shiny vinyl texture, right? If you want it to be nice and shiny. And then from there, that will give you a couple of different images in here. I got a couple of those over here. As you guys can see, look at your boy, right? Um, you got this example in here. I actually went with, I think it was this one, the one that I went with, right? Uh, but you have a whole bunch of different examples. So here you go. And you could actually make it into a video. And this could be something that you could put on the bottom, maybe on your footer, or maybe you could put it on your about section. Okay. Something like this, right? I like this one. Boom, boom, boom. Guys coding. Da, da, da. Hey, <laughs> we're bringing out two, two laptops. Okay. So this is something that you could do with uh, mid journey to go in and generate something like this for your portfolio, but you could actually go in and use this other service called Meshi where you could actually go in and turn that image into a 3D object. And then now all you have to do is use uh, 3JS and some basic JavaScript just to spin it around similar to something like we have here. Okay. Now, like I said, guys, I uh, really like this portfolio. It's simple. It's nice and clean. Okay. Pretty straightforward. Uh, has some really good sections for the projects. Uh, he has his uh, skill section. He also has things about, you know, his work and just recognition. And he has his about section. And then from there, having the, you know, case studies of the actual projects that he worked on seem pretty cool i think in in 2025 this will be like a really good portfolio either for a designer or even a developer now of course you know you just got to go in and, and put in that time to polish it up and make sure it's nice and clean there's multiple ways of doing a portfolio there's not just a one way of doing it it's just you got to make sure that number one you're catching the person's attention number two you're talking about your skills number three you have relevant projects to the work that you're trying to apply for, right? The job that you're trying to go for. And then from there, just make it nice, make it look good. I see so many people that have portfolio that just look like, you know, like a wrinkled shirt. Okay. So you want to make sure that it actually looks like you put in time. So it's your presentation. Think of it as your suit and tie. All right, guys. So anyways, man, you already know, so boy, you're back at it again, codingface.com. Let me know if you guys want me to show you guys the whole process of actually creating something like this, you know, going from start to finish. So you guys can go in and implement it to your portfolio. Um, let me know in the comment section.